Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with dagos, up to here. Uh, savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry god for an angry people. <laughs> well, America ain't exactly a peaful paradise, mister. Well, uh, that's right. But, but at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot. My god, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. <laughs> Why didn't you? Oh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. <laughs> Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? Well, there's, there's some fighting broken out there. Well, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Name's Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. Well, they'll know of me in no Salida. How much? Plenty, sir, plenty. Uh, now you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell, what? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow. A peculiar man. Well, okay. Soof, that's a bit of a trek. Poppycock. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to be riding off to Poppycock. Uriah Toilets. Sounds like a urine toilet? I don't know. There seems to be a bit of a play on words going on there. Anyway, let's go see if we can't find this gentleman's package. And that sounds dodgy enough as it is. Go find this man's package and go get a buck. Better be a few bucks. Quite a few bucks. Americans are obsessed with money, eh? Well, that certainly does seem to be the case. Now, I'm guessing we're going to be walking into a little bit of a nightmare over here. Now, I want to actually have a look at our warhorse. So it's a special dark brown horse with a light mane, faster and stronger than normal. Right, so it's faster than normal, but does that mean it's the fastest? I still need to do some research on that. Certainly need to get us the best horse, and if that is the best horse, then fair enough. Now, I don't know how strong this horse is. Because I don't really remember having too many horses die on the original. Uh, I know it does happen. It's definitely happened. More than once. But uh, we should be okay. Let's get out of here. Get this silly old fool's package. I wonder if we can find out what it actually is. Seems a little bit fishy to me, but whatever. Mr. Toilet. I guess the urinals haven't been invented back then. Ooh. You know. There's a gunsmith here. Let's go check out the gunsmith on the way. Now, I know we can find some better weapons. But... Let's go see what this guy has for sale. I'm hoping we can find some kind of like pump action shotgun or something. I think you do get one. Yeah, uh, I'm not too bad. So what is that? Did we already have that? 
Alright, I thought we did. So the semi-automatic pistol was quite good. Yes, the revolutionary new German pistol can fire in rapid succession. Although it kicks like a mule. I've got a bolt action rifle. So this is the semi-auto shotgun. That's nice. 500 bucks. I'm not sure if that's worth it. You know, we do have the cash. So, let's spend it. We've still got plenty of cash. Although, unfortunately, we can't upgrade anything. But that's fine. Just walk in, buy three new weapons, and then get out of here. Seems reasonable. So, what did we buy? Let's have a look at our weapons now. So... How interesting. That... So it has slightly less range, and I do mean slightly less range. But it's got way faster reload speed, because I believe it's magazine fed. And it's even more powerful. So we will have... Oh, no, 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 no. So we'll keep that. Bolt action rifle. Yeah, see, the bolt action rifle just. It's way more powerful. Very slow reload. It does have a better range, though. You know, maybe it's more accurate. We'll keep it. Now. And again, the semi auto, from what I can understand. Yeah, apart from rate of fire. No? No, it is just better in every wa every way. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm sorry for waving my new fancy gun in your face, love. Um, kind of didn't mean to do that. Whoa, midnight, you crazy bastard. Come here. Oi! Look, we're not going to Tamriel, you know. What? What? You need your horse back. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go try our new pistola. We'll go get this gentleman's horse. Oh! Oh, it feels good. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought you'd get any, like, automatic pistols or semi-automatic pistols, I guess, in this western game, but... You know, you do. You definitely get many, 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 many more weapons in the second game. It's a ludicrous amount of weapons. Including bow and arrows, pellet guns. Actually, um, I don't know if you get a bow and arrow in this game. I don't think you do. Oh, nope. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, give me some coins, sir. I need some coin. There you go. You're welcome. I suppose we're doing a little bit of good for the local populace. Whoa, that guy nearly ran his donkey into me. Would you even be failed to return the horse? Do we have to wait? Alright, whatever. He had his damn horse back. Nobody can convince me otherwise. I've got some nice horses here. Approach the general to offer our assistance. I mean, I guess we could do. 
Looks like we've got a bandito camp. All right. And we now have fire bottles. Uh, can we get a gun out, please? Thank you. Now, I don't know how this gun stacks up to the volcanic pistol. Oh, man. That's more like it. That's way more like it. Wow. Yeah, I just shot that woman four times in the chest. Uh, feels bad, man. Well, she shouldn't have been there. In all fairness. It's a bit of money. We need to take back as much money as we possibly can. Because that was expensive. Oh, man. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. This is a proper firearm. Those Germans, man. Building weapons like this. It's almost like they want to, in a few years, start invading the whole of Europe or something. Obviously, that would be ridiculous. And definitely won't happen. Ow. Yeah, we are going to kill all of them. Don't worry, John. I'm just going to run up to them and stick this gun down their throat. Sorry, lady. Ugly bit of business here. Oh, God, someone's behind us. You. That was rough. Oh, you got to love having a magazine-fed weapon. Oh! Oh, shit! Ah, crap! That's my bad. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Yep, yeah, I think that's probably best. He looked like a bandito, man. I mean, they all look the same. Is that racist? Probably. Isn't everything racist these days? Or is it only racist if you let them believe it's racist? I don't know. Oh, son of a... That was annoying. I'm hoping it's just going to restart us. You absolute... and utter... son of a bitch. And we don't even have the... Alright. A thief has robbed you, huh? Well, I mean, I suppose I can lend a hand. Bloody hell, this guy's way off into the distance. Bloody hell, man. You're really going to be making me work for this one, huh? Ugh. Come on, you bloody bean-eating bastard. Now, I'm not sure if we get anything extra for capturing these guys alive. But, we're going to try and capture him alive. Throw the thing, John. Yeah, I mean, we could quite easily kill you, sir. But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure the uh, shopkeeper is going to have her wicked way with you. And I don't mean in a nice, friendly way, either. I think somebody's uh, unmentionables is probably going to end up in some kind of bean curry. Best thing that could happen to him, to be honest. The great thing about somebody trying to insult you in a foreign language is you don't know what to say. <laughs> so it's fine, it doesn't matter. Just laugh it off. Oh, are you speaking gibberish again? Bless him. Probably should have just shot this guy in the face. Does seem to be quite a lot of effort to drag his carcass all the way over here. Still, hopefully there will be some sort of uh, 
improved reward for the improved or the greater amount of effort it takes. Look at this place. This is cool. I like the way it says drop victim. We're the victim. This is costing us a lot of extra time. Hello there, love. <laughs> Spitting on him and everything. Excellent. Right, you have fun with that. I'm going to go back to my bloody gun shop, buy out all the weapons again. Now, remember, when we get to that other place, don't shoot them in the face. Don't shoot the good guys in the face. Although, as we've already said before, uh, I'm somewhat confident in saying that they are not the good guys. Literally just spent, what, a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars. Oh, that's kind of painful. Ah, she's still kicking and spitting him. Kick him to death, love. Do what you want. I don't care. Alright, let's go save the game. Because I don't want to keep doing this. Ah, weapon top up. You know, I've always thought that these ponchos look like they would probably be quite warm. Surely wearing something that's going to keep you warmer in Mexico is not a great idea. But, you know, what do I know about these things? Honestly, not much. Then I suppose it is quite open and flappy, so... You know. Once more, we're feeling. Right, right. We shall try that. Uh, try that again, shall we? Right now, chasing these. Get out the way, you dumbass! We're just gonna run and shoot people. Oh, that feels so good. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep laughing about how we shot a woman to death, shall we? Although, to be fair, I don't really get the whole double standard myself. Yes, John. That's exactly what I wanted you to take cover behind. Well done. This is going to take us all... Yeah. All right, so let's try that again, shall we? A little bit more. Is that a bobcat? I think. Nope, we can't aim at it, so it's probably a random dog. All right, let's try and be ooh, a little bit more careful this time. Oof. Oh. Well, I don't think she's quite dead, but let's see if we can't push up on the side. Ooh. Yeah, the way these guys are shouting Mexico and other freedom style chants is certainly making me wonder if we're truly doing the right thing here. Still, are we stuck? We kind of are stuck. <laughs> Viva the Revolution. Yeah. Uh, definitely starting to get a serious case of Phil Bad's man. Oh well. End of the day, we need the help of the government. Oh shit. Sorry, love. That was a little bit extreme. Okay, well, she shouldn't have been shooting at us at the end of the day. John. 
Can't feel sorry for everybody. I like this thing. It's like a precursor to a Luger or something. Those crazy Germans. Alright, he's gone. Oh, this gun. This gun. This gun really is where it's at. Come on, you. I saw you. What the? Hey. Alright. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. He just phased through the wall. I mean, sure, I guess. Why not? Ooh. That guy's a friend. I say friend, Lucy. We need to be extremely careful of who we're shooting here. Alright. Well, liberation, one bullet at a time. Um, let's not stand in the fire, John. If we can help it. Okay. Who's left? Just you? Nope, you're a good person. Apparently. They look so similar, man. I mean, that guy was literally on his knees. That was sad. Who is shooting? Who is still talking? Her. Oh, there we go. She's finally bleeding out. All right. Does she have anything in her pockets? I ain't getting fresh. The time for getting fresh is over, John. All right, let's go talk to this chap. Can we really not? Okay. Sounds like there's a couple of these guys still alive. Gurgling up their own guts. You know, you know how it is. You right there, fella? Help the Burning, oh, right. I was gonna say, seems a little bit OTT, but hey, if that's what they want. So we've got to burn this place down. Alright. Maybe this is what we should have just done in the first place, instead of getting into a prolonged firefight. Just burn them all out. Seems a little bit harsh. Ooh, we really got to burn the boat. That's certainly. Ooh, no, 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 no! I thought we was about to jump into the water then. Well, I think the traitors have already paid, sir. <laughs> That boat goes up way too quickly. Oh. Not quite the effect I was hoping for. I kind of wanted to see it go up and uh, burn and sink. But whatever. It's fine. Another one. Would have been nice to see this boat sink. Yeah, maybe don't stand in the way, dick. Excellent work. Now go speak to the general. He will want to thank you personally. All right. I like these fireballs. These are cool. All right, general. What do you got for me? You're a friend to Mexico. Here's a little money. A sign of my gratitude. Now we must leave. Fair play. Not entirely sure we were on the right side of history there. Oh, we got the Henry Repeater. A new weapon. Henry Repeater. Well, it's not as good as the bolt action. But 
but it does hold 12 shots though. It's a good chunk. Better than the other repeater that we had though. Nowhere near as powerful as the bolt action rifle though. I think we'll keep up with the bolt action for now. Interesting. The bolt action isn't even that slow. Cool. We'll probably hang on to that now. Where, oh where, is our package? In a small town called Poppycock. Although this isn't actually called Poppycock. So I'm not quite sure where that's coming from. But ours is not to question why. Or reason why, I believe the phrase is. Sixteen bucks. Right, let's go deliver this package and then we'll we'll call this a video. Now, where are we taking this package to? Oh good lord. Poppycock. Maybe that's just the name of the quest. That's that's a good click away. All right. Midnight, stop being a dick. Come on. Now let's get over here. Oh, I can't believe it's almost six o'clock already. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. All right. Now you never know, something cool might happen. But until that point, I'm going to pause it. Uh, looks like there's a place up here for sale, which makes sense. Now, how do we buy this property? This property looks quite fancy. Oh. We've got a machine gun on top. Cool. Don't mind buying a house with a machine gun on top. Or is it a temporary? No. This is permanent. Very nice. So is this ours? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five beds here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Ooh, wow. There's also a lot of TNT in here, which is kind of a cool thing and kind of a negative at the same time. Uh, whatever. Looks like some steam generator of some kind. Are you the foreman, mister? I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollix. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of Mora. <laughs> it's in the way of real work. If you say so. Here's the money from Mr. Dalitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> Must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, Gringo. No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. Curious. I wonder what that was. A thousand bucks. Well, it looks like this quest is not quite done. I guess we've got to return the money. Seems like a smart thing to do. And I guess we can just fast travel. If we're actually allowed to fast travel here. Nope. Let's get out of here and use the camp so we can fast travel. Definitely uh, a better idea if you ask me. Not quite sure how far out of town you have to be before you can use such thing. Look at this scenery here. Uh, it just looks so fantastic. Everything about this game. You know, it's old, sure, but it still looks good. Um... Hey, there we go. You don't apparently have to get that far away from campsites. 
or villages. Right, let's go to... Oh, you can travel to Waypoint as well. That's interesting. I wonder if we can travel to a Waypoint in America. Very interesting. I might have to experiment with that. Okay. Now, where is Mr. Toilet? Alright, you stay there, Midnight. I need to do some research on you as well. See if you're worth hanging on to, or whether it's worth retiring you to the glue factory. Mr. Toilet, I've got your money. Is that it? Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I damn well knew you were the kind of chap to be trusted. A fine fellow, sir. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities, what? <laughs> report what, Tollins? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Well, building a country's hard, sir. It's hard. Our opium's nasty, oh. day, but it's necessary. Necessary. Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff, straight from Ongo Bongo land, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> you use me. Are you a moralist or just a fool? Both, I guess. We provide a much needed service for the railroad workers. Help ease the pain and loneliness. Them beings are far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. You know what? <sighs> it was obvious uh, we were going to be doing something iffy. We'll give him the money. Here. I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I thank you. Here's hoping we can do business again in the future. Beats dealing with the bloody savages. If I'm not mistaken, I'm so he not, done here. Does he not give us a cut? I thought. Hola. I thought he would. Alright, I actually did think that he was going to pay us a cut of that. Alright, whatever. Probably should have kept the whole lot. We will buy a paper. So anything good? North Civil? If you guys want to read any of this, just pause the video. There's way too much here to go through. Three-headed man to tour the USA? Simeon escape apprehended? Female doctor arrives. Questions arrive too. <gasps> Female troubles cause weakness and a breakdown of the nervous system. What? A situation that male physicians cannot be bothered to handle. Alright. Apparently female doctors are commonplace in New York. <laughs> Who would have had such a thing? She met resistance and numerous unsolicited opinions and visits to her office by local officials concerned about the president of a female physician in town. Would you visit a female doctor? Many would say no. However, those who suffer from distressing ills peculiar to the weaker sex and the men who suffer the women during female troubles may have a solution with the revival of, uh, arrival of Dr. Pinkman. More ghosts take up residence in Tumbleweed. Shootout at Fort Mercer. Lawmen, gunmen, and outlaws were involved in a bloody battle recently at the abandoned military base Fort Mercer in Rio Bravo, New Austin. At the time of going to press, events were still a little unclear, but it seems that this was the end of the Williamson gang that had terrified New Austin in recent months. But 
not perhaps of Mr. Williamson himself, whose body has not been found, and who is believed to have fled to Mexico. Marshal Lear Johnson, who led the raid, was commanded for his bravery. I'm sure he was. Fancy ribbed turnover tops. All wool ribbed stockings. Excessive opium smoking in Mexico? Yeah, we... <clears throat> We wouldn't know anything about that. They came looking for silver and found lead. Electricity. Electricity, huh? Electricity, the marvel of the age, is going to do more than just light our homes or help to end the lives of dastardly killers. This most merciful or mer mercurial of God's great gifts to us. One that will have that we have only harnessed far more recently than fire or water or earthen sod is so at the frontier of anesthetics. Thanks to remarkable new research. Uh, Ah, it seems that pain as well as pleasure can be managed through the remarkable art of neuron displacement. And that soon we will undergo procedures ranging from tooth extraction to childbirth for women or hemorrhoids for men whilst plugged into an electric cable. It appears that lights are not only the thing that is bright around these parts. So is the future. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh. I believe these um, people who are killed by gunshot, are they the ones that we've been killing in jewels? Quality medicine for sale? Uh-huh. Many gringos get lost and die in Mexico for maps. Uh, okay. Blackjack, poker and dice. Three of life's greatest pleasures. Leave the wife at home and come to Thieves Landing Saloon. Yeah, blackjack and hookers. Bender's favorite. Situation wanted for a middle-aged man crippled. But healthy, can perform most tasks sitting down. Small house for sale in Escalada, Mexico. Beautiful location despite the war. Priced low for a quick sale. <laughs> I'm an American. I need guns. Okay. Routes to Mexico open again. The bridges connecting New Austin with Mexico are passable once more, although Americans are advised against travel until the violence and unrest subsides. Uh... Okay. Well, that's that, I suppose. Sorry, mate. Just get trampled to death by a gringo that's fine anyway i'm gonna go save the game guys when we come back yes all right buddy i wasn't talking to you uh, and when we come back i don't know whether we're gonna do some work for rickets or maybe work on some bounties but i'm sure we'll find something to do so till next time guys thanks for watching